Good morning, Cougars. I'm Zoe, and today is Friday, January 15, 2021. And I'm McKenna, and it's a white day. Please, Please rise, rise and join us for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's lunch, we have cheeseburger or chicken tenders with a muffin. The premium choice is loaded potato skins bar. And the sides are baked beans, corn, mixed berry cup, and a chocolate chip cookie. For Tuesday's lunch, we have mini corn dogs and bread and mozzarella sticks. The premium choice is shrimp poppers. And the sides are sugar snap peas, baby carrots, and a strawberry cup. Hey Zoe, do you have a joke for today? Yeah, what kind of shoes do burglars wear? I don't know, what? Sneakers. Good one. Hey, it's January. Any idea what our character word is for this month? Yes, I actually do know. It is acceptance. And it means accepting differences and the uniqueness of others and celebrating the common ground we share. Accepting others is so important to create a welcoming environment everywhere. Don't miss out, Cougars. The 2020-2021 yearbooks are on sale right now for $25 for our back-to-school special. These yearbooks can only be ordered online right now, but it's super easy to order. 2021 yearbooks can be ordered at www.jostens.com or from the homepage of our CMS website. This is sure to be another year to remember, so make sure you are ordering yours now. Hey Cougars, are you interested in making a mark at our school? Have you ever wished you could change the unspoken rules of who's in and who's out? Do you ever wish Congress was more inclusive? Do you want to advise teachers and principals on how to make our school better? If this is you, then you should apply to the CMS Student Equity Board. We welcome all of you for you, your unique strengths and diverse abilities. The Student Equity Board will meet during quarter three intramurals from t January 25th to March 25th after school till 4 p.m. on Tuesdays or Thursdays, depending on your last name. You will serve as school leaders and role models for equity and create, lead, and attend events and activities that promote a diverse background and community. If any of this interests you, you should apply now. There is a flyer with links to the applications, and applications are due January 22nd. You will be accepted no matter what. This application process is only to see what your interest. Ask your life ed teacher to send you the links for the application directly. Attention all 8th graders. We are going to begin important steps for high school enrollment. Please listen for special announcements for upcoming events, deadlines, etc. The first step started this past Tuesday morning. Surveys are due today, January 15th. There is an important six-question survey to complete. Please watch the video that goes with the email, and again, be sure the survey is completed no later than today. If you are unable to find a survey or need any additional information, please email or Teams your counselor, Mrs. Sissel or Mrs. Weissar. Listen up, Cougars. NWEA testing is coming up quickly. Yes, it is. NWEA testing will take place next week, January 19th and 20th. Hybrid students will test at school, and virtual students will test at home. To help prepare and get you motivated to do our best on these test days, 
we will be having spirit days leading up to our test. Today is favorite team day. Hopefully you are getting your head in the game for NWA testing and wearing your favorite team gear. And then next Tuesday and Wednesday, on the actual testing days, will be workout day so you can get ready to give your brain a workout. That's right. Tuesday and Wednesday will be workout gear dress-up days. We will definitely be working on our brains to do our best on the NWEA test. I love that idea. Being comfortable while I'm taking the test will be awesome. Agreed. Make sure you are doing your part to do the best you can on the NWEA test and join us for these fun, fun spirit days. Teachers, please enter your spirit account in the link Mrs. Fodger sent out this morning. Listen up, Cougars. Do you love the spell? If so, you definitely should register for the Park Hill School District Spelling Bee. And you will have a chance to advance directly to the Scripps National Spelling Bee in this competition. The Spelling Bee will be administered in two parts, a school-level competition available February 9th, 10th, or 11th, and a district-level competition available February 17th. All current Park Hill 5th through 8th graders are eligible, but you must sign up by, January, by February 1st to participate. Flyers are in the office if you want to take advantage of this opportunity. Listen up, Cougars. Is acting one of your passions? Do you love helping with scene designs and sets, makeup and behind-the-scenes stuff? Then the school play is definitely for you. Join this hilarious family in four scenes as they struggle to endure being stuck at home together. Why is the Wi-Fi out? And will their old-school solutions work when all the needed cords are missing from the junk drawer? Will the family secure two ply rolls of toilet paper and trade negotiations with Grandma? Wait, what has each of them been using? What foods or beverages are critical enough to make a special run to the grocery store? And really, who is strong enough to endure more than one dad joke? If this sounds like something you would love to be a part of, the last informational meeting is today, January 15th, in the 100 pod from 2.30 to 3. Tryouts will be on the 19th and 20th from 2.30 to 4 p.m. in the cafe. Make sure you have your calendar marked for this informational meetings if you want to be a part of this amazing school play. If you are staying for the informational meetings, please make sure you have a ride arranged to pick you up after the meetings are over. If you have any questions, please see Miss Sewell in room 110. Listen up, Cougars. Picture retakes are January 25th and 26th. This is for any student or staff member who missed the original picture day or who needs retakes. If you are getting retakes, you must bring your purchase packet of pictures with you. Picture retakes are January 25th for Group A students and January 26th for Group B students. If your online student needs to schedule a retake, please email Dr. Erling. And before we go, here is an important message from our amazing principal, Dr. Erling. Good morning, Congress Cougars. How are you this morning? Hey, it's team day. I hope that means you're wearing your chief stuff because what other team would you wear? I've seen some interesting choices in the building this week. I've seen some teachers, you know, maybe occasionally wearing bear stuff. You know who you are, Mr. Harvey. I've even seen a student wearing a Cleveland Browns jersey. It's no big deal. I mean, we're just going to expel people who wear that, but you know, we'll talk about that later. Um, in all seriousness, guys, I'm here to talk to you about moving forward. Can you believe we are almost halfway through the year? It's crazy. Pretty soon we'll be thinking about next year. Second semester starts soon, and I just want to make sure that second semester is as smooth as it can possibly be. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to talk to the teachers, and I like to just say, what problems are we having and what do we need to fix? And after talking to the teachers, I've been made aware of a couple things that I want to uh, get in check before second semester so we can have a great one. One of those things is cell phones. I know this year is a little bit weird. I know that we're not using our lockers. I know that means that those of you who have phones have them with you. And I think one of the things that we tried, again, it's kind of a weird year, so we've experimented with some different things. One of the things we tried was allowing people to use their phones during lunch. We know lunch isn't quite as fun as it once was. And we just wanted to kind of try that for you and, and see how it would, it would work out. Unfortunately, the feedback that we're getting is that this is causing a disruption. Um, unfortunately, some people aren't getting off their phones after lunch. Some people are wanting to get on their phones before they even get to lunch. So I know this isn't going to be super popular with some of you, but because I want things to go smoothly, um, from now on, we're going to go back to no cell phones at lunch. Now, before you get too upset about that, please remember this. That was a temporary policy to begin with. Um, I hope things are back to normal next year, and when they are, that's not something we were going to do. So I am just making the decision that from second semester on, we're not going to use cell phones. And let's be honest, we have all had way too much screen time in the past year, me included. I'm trying to get away from my phone. You should too. 
Lunchtime should be, even though it's a little bit different, even though we're spread out, that should be a time for us to socialize, visit with people around. So again, no phones, that is something that you could get consequences for. If we see your phone out in lunch, we're gonna politely ask you to put it away. But if you continue to get it out or you're causing issues with it, you're probably gonna have to come see uh, Dr. Smith or Mr. Van Horn or possibly me. So let's not allow that to happen. Another thing that I wanna talk to you about along the same lines is Microsoft Teams. We are really lucky to have Teams. It's a really good tool. And a lot of your teachers have informed me that you prefer to communicate, especially on days when you're home, um, you prefer to communicate via Teams and say Zoom or other things like that. So I think we're really lucky to have Teams this year. I think it's a very powerful tool that's keeping us connected in a year when we need to try to stay connected as much as possible. That said, I'm hearing that a lot of people are kind of abusing their use of Teams. We're on it all the time. In a way, Teams has kind of become the new texting in class. People have their computers open because they're doing schoolwork, and then we're having Teams chatter everywhere that's causing a disruption. A couple things you need to understand about that. One, anything that causes a disruption in class is something that could land you in the principal's office. I like visiting with you in class. I like visiting with you in the hallways. I'd rather not have to visit with you in my office, and I bet you feel the same. So if your teacher determines that Microsoft Teams is causing a problem just like anything else, they have a discipline flowchart and they decide if this is something they need to call home about or if they need to send my way. So please be careful. Again, I know Teams is a powerful tool and I know that we like to use it in class, but if you're abusing it by chatting with people um, and then maybe in another class or maybe people who are home or maybe even someone right across the class from you when you should be paying t attention to the teacher, then really you're, you're causing a disruption. Um, something else you should really know about Teams is that because it is a school app, honestly, we have access to any, any information that goes through there. So if a teacher suspects that you're using Teams for inappropriate reasons, all they have to do is email me and I email someone at district office and they can send us an entire transcript of what you've been doing on Teams. And I bet some of the conversations we've had on Teams are probably ones that you might not want me reading. So, that said, let's make sure that we have a great second semester. I have talked to some of my colleagues around the district, and I can promise you that Congress has uh, fewer discipline problems than any other middle school. That's amazing. That's because you guys are amazing. But we've got to keep it that way. And if cell phones and teams continue to be a problem, unfortunately, there will be some write-ups. So I need you to do your part to make second semester awesome. And like I said, I want to see you. I want to talk to you in the hallways. I want to talk to you in class but I don't want to see you down in my office. So let's, let's do our part to squelch these two problems and make second semester amazing. So again, because it is Teams Day, the only thing I can say to close this out is go Cougars and go Chiefs. Well, that's all for today. I'm Zoe and today is Friday, Friday January 15th. And I'm McKenna and it's a white day. Have, Have a, a good, good weekend, weekend Cougars. Cougars.